menu. I don't know why I'm more inclined to use melee weapons in games. I just think it's fun. Maybe it's because I watched Sword Art Online season two and was like, "Wow, you like, he uses a sword and a gun well." <laughs> you're like, nah. I liked the concept before, but I could be the the black swordsman. Uh no chance. I'm too pale. Is that a sound of a joke going over my head? <laughs> it's just the wind, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh? Oh no. Oh no. I hate those little fellas. Take that out of context. <laughs> Cut back to the Yume Niki playthrough. <laughs> Midget! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's some interesting background noise, that is. It's the sound. Oh, I'm not going to finish that sentence. <laughs> Because you don't have anything funny to say. Who? I'm sick of trying to be entertaining all the time. <laughs> nah. Hey, detergent. The difference is I'm normally like this. <laughs> you're you're putting it on, but I'm I'm, I'm usually just uh, uh bring up some pretty weird things. What? <laughs> detergent, so you can wash your clothes. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Did you know that detergent is used to wash clothes? <laughs> if you've got detergent in a wound, fucking stings. Elaborate on how that happened to you. I do my washing, I only quit my hand. Okay. You know, you, you. So do you wash your clothes by hand? No, but you put the detergent in the washing machine. Yeah, there's no point that detergent ever needs to touch your skin. And you put it into the washing machine. There's no point it ever needs to touch your skin. What, well, I'm just meant to levitate it? You pour it into the cap. The cap. That's... That's fabric softener. You, detergent. Is that the powder or the... Yes. The powder? Yes. Oh, no! Then you scoop it out with the cap of something else. I've, my detergent's got two different things in it for scooping it out. Oh, you're posh then. I have to use my my teeth. <laughs> I always wondered why your breath smelt so nice. <laughs> yeah, it's from my. I've got sparkly white. <laughs> don't go to the dentist. We just. Yeah. It's all you don't go to the dentist. British. <laughs> mm. I think my teeth are in a worse state than yours. You drink loads of pop though. I don't. I only drink pop when I'm drinking, and I'm drinking right now, but bear in mind you're doing a dry month and I'm, I'm here going, oh, I, oh, I need a bit of vodka, and I'll drink it, and then I'll have another vodka. I don't know what's happened to your brain, man. Vodka. <laughs> your smooth brain. Um. What would you do? <laughs> you do if you went for like an MRI scan and they came back and instead of your brain they showed you like a, an actual you know those symbol monkeys <laughs> and they're like we have no idea <laughs> we're not playing a prank on you here this is genuinely what's turned this up on is the just <laughs> just the shape of your tumour <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry you've not got long left <laughs> for your monkey brain so it's just like all you see is the monkeys oh god don't, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Sorry. I'm talking to the little grey fellas. So you're giving me permission to touch you? <laughs> no, don't touch me. Ooh. I'm racking my brain at what a walnut could be used for in puzzle solving. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably why they do it. They, they throw the puzzle at you after the walnut because it's, it's such a dumb thing to pick up. Uh, let me think, let me think. It's got to be something to do You need it. some time to think, so I'll go ahead. Hmm. I remember doing it first time, the puzzle with the, the fan, when I first played this game. I've played this game Yeah, I remember years, beating Devil May Cry on uh, Kiss Your Ass Goodbye mode. Yeah. Yeah. Woohoo. Took me two weeks, but I did it without taking a single hit of damage. <laughs> Some of those are doors and some of those aren't. 
I forgot what game I did that with. Ah, have you ever been on the edge of a sneeze for like an hour straight? You're edging. <laughs> I'm edging my sneeze. It's going to feel so good when I finally <laughs> blow my nose. Mm. What are we doing here? Mm. There is a fan. It's weird how the game throws you straight into it even though you're just like in a shopping centre. I think it's because it's a sequel and it expects you, well... To already know. Number three in the but series. still, could it like give you a bit more context as to who like ever is? Run around a bit in Silent Hill, yeah. That's my problem with this game, it's, it's like... Throws you straight into it. It's all dungeon. <laughs> Have you hit that fan? Uh, I'm just going to check that door again. There's a button there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you turn it off before? Oh, I know what to do now, I think. I know oh. you, you've got to put the detergent in the bucket and then set the bucket on fire, I think, but... It's empty. <coughs> Walnut. Walnut solves everything. <laughs> Combine those two. <laughs> yeah, like I said, you got to make the ultimate bulletproof vest using a walnut. Have got a lighter? No. Hmm. Bad man, turn that fan off, it is making my brain rattle. The first symptom that came with a illness you gave me was a headache, and it genuinely, every time I coughed, my brain rattled. Yeah, it's painful, isn't it? Oh, so you're telling me. Is that a surveillance camera above the door? A surveillance camera? Yeah, I think we need a ligator. A what? Ligator. You mean a lighter? Yeah, that's how it's spelt. You and your black country accent. Ligator Kniff. <laughs> a lighter knife. <laughs> Ligator Kniff. You're one of those people who pronounce this of a G in Gnome. Gnome. <laughs> There's a thing on the table there, like a lighter or something, a box of matches. Box of matches. You see it? I can't reach it. She's not looking at it either. It's just environment. Is it? Yeah. Wow. She put a box on her thing and say, oh, no, you can't. Don't, you can't touch that, it's not real. We need a lighter. Back of matches. Have you ever had a Mandela effect happen to you? Um. Well, like Nelson Mandela comes up in your dreams. No, the Mandela effect, uh, it's because so many people remember him. Um, Whoa! Man. Remember him not dying in prison as if he's still alive or something what but you know how he died what no Nelson Mandela he died in prison did he and a lot of, this is the thing a lot of people remember him dying out of prison like like ending his sentence and dying outside of prison I'm pretty sure he was freed or that but he died in prison I've seen him talking on stage and stuff that was probably before you went to prison. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> you're you're having a Mandela effect on the Mandela effect. I gotta Google. <laughs> <laughs> you got freed from prison. Okay, okay. Yeah, I've been Mandela affected because <laughs> it's yeah. your way around. He got freed and he survived and he died in 2013. But the majority of people remember him as dying in the 1980s in prison. That's the Mandela effect. Is that's a bad example? <laughs> it's like that's, that's why it's called the Mandela effect. Because that's the first instance where people are, were like, "How come so many people remember oh, this thing away from being me. something else?" Just, just equip the steel pipe, bro. Ah, uh, yes, steel pipe. But that's the Mandela effect. Uh, people remember things differently, so. Another famous example, which doesn't apply to us because we're British, is the bear steam bears. People remember them being the bear steam bears. You've been watching Inside Job, haven't you? Another one is, um, you know, Fruit of the Loom. Oh, yeah. For, uh, can you picture the logo? Yeah. Uh, describe it. Some fruit. Just some fruit. It's all like a picture of some fruit. Because <laughs> I've said Fruit of the Loom. It's like a lizard banana. And there's a banana. There's like a pinky fruit, maybe grapes. Yeah. A lot of people remember it as having a cornucopia in it as well. Oh, right. Nah, I can't picture the cornucopia. No. Weird word, eh? I had a um, 
I'm gonna leave this room and come back. A very back. nice Ocarina of Time t-shirt that I threw to the loom, and it stopped fitting me, so I give it to my cousin Tyler, and he doesn't even wear it immediately. It gets turned into a cushion. I'm like, I would have had that cushion, and then before, because he needs to get rid of a bunch of stuff before, like even asking if anybody wants anything, he throws it out, and I'm like, I would have had that cushion. Ah, it was my shirt to begin with. That was Joe's shirt to begin with. What are you talking about? A shirt that got turned into a cushion. If you were paying attention, you'd know. I'm trying to survive. I'm being chased by little greys. Just try fighting back. You've got a steel pipe. They're, they're strong, man. Look. I don't think there's anything of worth in here. I'm going to go. We never would have got through Silent Hill 1 if it wasn't for me taking the reins the majority of the time. <laughs> you nut job. You've gone full circle. I have. I have. Find a save and we'll put this to rest. Put this to rest? Where do you want to go? I've had a go. Had a go at me. Always having a go at me. Well, maybe if you did something right for once. <laughs>